Hey guys, good morning. Um, let me know if you guys can hear me and see me okay. Um, I am going to start this Facebook Live in just a second, but I want to make sure that um, everyone can hear and see me since I'm inside of a building. Um, so give me a little thumbs up or something like that real quick and then I'll get started. Perfect. Okay, I've got a couple thumbs up. Okay, hi guys, Kaylee here. Um, I am currently at the mass vaccination site um, for Lucas County K through 12 school teachers and employees uh, this morning. It started early this morning around 7, 7.30 and they're going to go all day. Um, so I'm currently inside. I hope I don't lose any signal since we are in a uh, gym pretty much, a gymnasium. So I'm gonna turn the camera around, give you guys a little glimpse of what it looks like right here. Um, and talk you guys through it. So I am currently standing at one of the uh, entrance ways. They have everything roped off, letting you know which way is in and which way is out. So I'm standing at one of the farther entrance ways. You come in and it tells you you need to have your driver's license um, and all your other information. And then what'll happen is you'll walk down this way all the way to the end of this side of the gymnasium and you will uh, give them your paperwork, you'll give them your ID, and they will make sure you're checked in and all of your stuff with your time card and uh, your appointment time. If you're, uh, if you're a K through 12 teacher or school employee or something like that. Um, and then after that, you will walk around and go, I'm gonna try and maybe I'll walk down and see if I can show you guys what it looks like. So this is the check-in area. This is where you walk. Over here is where you'll check in and then behind the check-in is where people are doing vaccines, where my finger is pointing. Oh, sorry. Um, so you will check in, you'll get your shot and this process is a fairly quick process. So we have people walking in right now. I'll actually just kind of walk you guys through it. walk in you check in you have people waiting and then they check you in behind the check-in are tables with numbers on them and people will kind of raise up a sign that says next person and that lets you know which is which is the next open vaccination station i guess um you'll roll up your sleeve and then you'll get the shot yeah i don't know if you see the green right there let me try and zoom in Okay, I can't get it to zoom, but so the green signs right there say next person, next person. So you'll get your vaccine and then after you get your shot, you'll head over to this area where they have, I'm told, 300 seats. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> where they have, good, how are you? They have 300 seats socially distanced. So after you get your vaccine, you'll come and sit here for at least 15 minutes just to make sure that... Uh, you're feeling okay, you're not showing any symptoms, things like that. Um, people are walking around in the bright colored vests right there and right there. They're walking around, just checking in on everyone, asking them how they're doing, how they're feeling. Um, while they wait those 15 to 20 minutes, however long they need to wait um, after they get their shot. And then once that is through, so once you're done sitting and waiting for 15 minutes, You'll come right over here to these two desks where you check out and they will ask you how you're feeling again. You'll turn in your information um, that you were given at the front and you will also have your second appointment um, already scheduled. I'm told that your second appointment is at the same time as the time you came today. So everything is already scheduled and good to go for your second vaccine shot. So. I'm told that there will be at around four to 5,000 people filtering through this gymnasium today. It's a very in and out process. You come in, you have your appointment, you check in, you get your shot, you wait 15 minutes and you go. It's very scheduled, very regimented, and they have everything just going super quick. Um, and so four, four to 5,000 people um, throughout the day, I'm told that 400 people per hour will be coming through here. So just wanted to show you guys what this all looks like. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Let me go through a few of them. 
Um, I have, oh, one question. Where is this located? We are located um, on the University of Toledo's campus at the ROTC building. This is only for K through 12 teachers um, and school employees, but this is where we are. We're located at the University of Toledo um, at their ROTC building. What are they doing? So I have a question that says, what are they doing with the leftover vaccinations? Um, so there will be 4,000 today, about 4,000 tomorrow, and any leftover will go onto um, the people on a list that are waiting, is what I'm told. So none of these vaccines will go to waste. Um, if people don't show up, if people miss their appointment, um, all of the leftover will be used and people who are on the waiting list that they have, that the health department has, um, you will be called. So if you are on that waiting list uh, and there are extra vaccines, you could possibly get a call um, from the health department. So um, that is how things are going here. Again, this is a two day mass vaccination. So today is just day one. They started around 7, 7.30 this morning. Um, and tomorrow they'll do the same thing for day two. And then after that, uh, they'll come back a few weeks later to get their second shot of the vaccine. I'm told that today, everyone will be getting, today and tomorrow, everyone will be getting the Pfizer vaccine. So that is what shot they are getting. I'll give you guys another look at what's going on. So right here, we just have people, people waiting. They've already, this whole group right here has already gotten their first shot of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. So they're just waiting their 15 or so minutes until they're good to go to make sure that they don't have any symptoms. They're feeling okay before they up and leave. Again, if you guys are just uh, hopping on here, I am at the University of Toledo where they're holding uh, a mass vaccination clinic for K through 12 school teachers and employees today and tomorrow. Today is day one of this two day mass vaccination. Um, around four ish thousand uh, school employees and teachers will get their first shot of the vaccine today. And then another four ish thousand will get their vaccine tomorrow, a two day clinic. So right here, you guys are looking at the waiting area where everyone has already gotten their vaccine. This area right here, this green is the walkway. So people will come in with their paperwork and their ID. They'll walk down this green area and then they'll come right over here to the check-in. After the check-in, there will be people holding green signs telling you next person and you'll sit down and you'll get your shot. And then as soon as you're done getting the shot, you'll come right over to this waiting area. Okay, let me see if we've got any more questions. Danielle gets hers tomorrow. Is there a line outside to get in? John, no, there is not a line outside to get in. They have every person who has signed up that's a K through 12 teacher or employee um, has signed up with their timed appointment, their scheduled appointment, and they have to show up at, the, at this time and they'll get their vaccine. So no, there isn't a line. Um, they just come on and walk in. If you could see, this is the line right here. They just walk right in, go right up to the area. It's, it's a very, very fast process. That's what I'm seeing. I've been here since 7.30 this morning. That's also what I'm hearing. Every teacher, school employee uh, that comes through here is like, wow, this is so fast, so organized. Everything goes so quickly. Um, that's one of the top things I've heard since I've been here this morning. <clears throat> I'm gonna go through some more questions. Don't they have to come back for a second shot? Yes, they do have to come back for a second shot, Christina. Um, their second shot, all of it will be here again. Um, 
And when you come back for the second shot, you are already scheduled after, like once you get this shot, you're already scheduled for your second shot. And I'm told your second shot will be at the same exact time that you came here today. So um, they've got everything planned out and worked out um, for when they come a few weeks later. I'm gonna go read through some more questions. God, is there a line outside? Is it wheelchair accessible? Yes, it is wheelchair accessible. You don't have to go up or down any stairs. It's just straight walkway all the way through um, from the door right over here, all the way here. Everything is just flat ground. So yes, it is wheelchair accessible, Kathy. Um, I'll answer that again. Uh, there is not a line outside to get in. Everyone is walking straight in and going right to uh, the check-in. There's maybe right now 10 people waiting in line to get checked in, but that's about it. Other than right here, no line. Um, let me see. I'm gonna go through a few more questions. How is parking? Uh, Debbie, the parking lot is pretty full outside. Um, so if you are getting your vaccine, I'd maybe say show up a little bit early so you have time to drive around and find a parking spot, but it only took me maybe three or four minutes to find a spot and I got one, one up close. So I was actually pretty proud of myself. Um, go through a few more questions. What do you do when you're done after the waiting period? So when you're done after this waiting period, you wait for your 15 or so minutes, you'll come right over here to these people that are sitting at one, two, three tables, these three tables, um, and they will grab your paperwork, hand you your information for your next shot, and they'll check you out, they'll ask you how you're feeling, and then that's it, you're done. So all of these people right here have waited their 15 or so minutes, and they're getting ready to head on out. That's it. There's a little bit of a line to check out. They've waited their 15 minutes, but, but that's it. It's a very, very smooth process, and that's what I've been hearing from all of these people uh, sitting here as well. Um, let me see. If there's any other questions and then I will hop on off. Okay, well, I'm gonna flip the camera around. Again, we are here at the Lucas County Mass Vaccination Site uh, for K through 12 teachers and employees uh, at schools in our area. I'm told Anywhere from four to 5,000 of them will come through today, and then another four to 5,000 will come through tomorrow in this very organized process. You have a time that you have to show up, you walk in, you check in, you get your shot, you sit for 15 minutes, and then you go. They don't want you here longer than that, longer than you need to be. You're in and out, and you're ready to go. I'm told 400 people will come through here each hour. So, give you a little glimpse one more time. If you have any other questions, let me know. I will ask the health commissioner uh, those other questions real quick before I leave. Then if you wanna know more, we will be live at noon in just a few minutes on WTOL 11, so you can hop on over there and watch. Thanks, bye.